Starting uh, to uh, the top left of Anaconda, the Protoss player in pink with a 1 0 lead in the best of three. Ungjin Staju, SOS! Very solid game one. Yep, very true. This is a, you know, a different map for Protoss versus Zerg entirely. And the Zerg to the bottom right, Startail player in red, he is. Starting Curious! You know, this map is, if you can kill those rocks uh, to the top right, a great map for Ling run by, something that we've seen from Curious in the past. And will we see a gateway expand for SOS? Almost every Protoss has been doing that on this map. You know, the one thing that I have to say about map number one, at least Curious is one of the few Zerg players who can say, yes, I did not lose on Belgia Vestige to a Ken Rush. That should be a Blizzard achievement, in my opinion. Yeah. We've just seen those Ken rushes not only against Hatch first, but also against uh, Hatch's after pool. And this was the one thing that Curious really made work there. But it was incredible to see how well SOS not only transitions into the mid and late game, but how he is always in such a dominant position. So that was really, really well done. And I'm very, very, uh, yeah, very interested to see what exactly his build for this map is going to be. Yeah, it looks like a, a Nexus first. Gonna take the backdoor expansion. On this map, he can add a gateway at his wall because of how this Nexus works out. And I think that to do anything else would be kind of silly unless he tries to go for a cannon. And Curious here, with no pool just yet, could actually go double hatch before pool, and that's exactly what he's going to do. But it's a forge, and if he goes and scouts this, he could do so much, but he's not scouting. This is a good build for, uh, for Curious, if you get away with it, of course, that is. And as you already said, there is no probe on the map, and I feel this is also one of the reasons why Curious is attempting this in the first place. Because he already knows that there is just no scout right now. I think he expected to see a gateway instead of the forge. But right now, we have him still in a position where he knows that he should be able to get away with a double hatch before pool. So the opening for him is great. The Overlord is ready to spot any probes that come down. And with the forge timing here, he knows that no probes are coming. He sees the tight wall. And so right now, Curious is thinking, yes, I got away with it. This is exactly what I want. This cannon, of course, will eventually kill those mini rocks when it's time for him to move out. We also have the other, the additional overload, the second one that came out at the bottom right now, just trying to make sure that there's no additional probe just moving in. So in this situation, Curious gets the lead and gets the uh, arguably better build. We have the Nexus also completing at the natural now for SOS. But let's see what kind of was just follow up is. Would expect the Stargate again, but for Curious, it's more for me. It's more interesting to see what Curious is going to do with this. There are a lot of options what you can do with get this this is much of a great economy in the game. He's actually going to kill the destructible debris. This means that he's going to have a tight wall here for a really long time, and I and it's also going to trap him. It means that he can't take a Nexus. So. I don't know how much I like this. The thing is, he has no idea what Curious is doing. He has no scout whatsoever. He doesn't know if it was pool first, gas first, whether it was double hatch before pool. He has no information. So, yes, in some ways this is safe, but it's going to kind of lock him in his base for a while. Yeah, but it also means that he can take the base to the top right instead. So. True. So, I actually, always forget that this map, you can actually just walk over there and do that. Now, I feel like, you know, if you lock yourself in like this, you can actually go uh, for one of these builds that we've seen on the Killon, where you get a couple of Stargates out there and go for an airplay. That's some option that you have. What I would really... I'm really interested to see what exactly Curious is going to do with his economy, because once that he scouts that the rocks are there, he already knows that this is uh, a very late-game oriented style that SOS is currently building, and he could go into so many different builds. He could even go for like a mass mutalisk build on three bases with all the gas that he's going to harvest in a few seconds. And there's the second Stargate, as expected already. Yeah, double Stargate before the third Nexus. And he places a pylon. I'm going to check and see if Curious' Overlord can see that. He can't see the pylon, but he can't really see where the Nexus would be, so he actually doesn't know for sure if there's a Nexus or not. Okay, now the game gets really interesting. I mean, we have the Void Race being started, and what has already been scouted are the rocks at the front. We have the Overlord in the position so that he sees the pylon, not, and no base just yet. We have Curious, on the other hand, not with a lot of gas. And no, no gas tech. at all. He took the double just, gas. At just now okay. for mining his first gas. Yeah, so he's getting the gas now at the third, but no additional gas added. No scout in the main base, no tech for Curious. He will go into Lair very, very soon. But then what is he going to do against this? Will we see him with the infestation pit and just trying to get infestors out together with queens and hydras against the air composition? First of all, he has, of course, to scout the air yeah. composition. He doesn't know anything but just yet. Aspire tech would arguably be a very bad choice here. Be 
you can try to make that work because you have the more resources but against the double stargate and i would actually expect the third stargate to be added later it is probably not the the best choice yeah. i agree with you we're gonna see the third nexus and to be added now he has a probe over there he's just trying to keep up his production on his stargates as long as possible and he's even going to make a phoenix now and send it around the map for scouting, which is also going to really throw Curious off. He actually sent his second Void Ray across the map. So Curious is going to know that this is a composition of mass air before he even scouts it with an Overlord. He's kind of showing this right away, and he still hasn't added that Nexus. It's almost like he's not going to. There it is, finally, very late here. Yeah, and with the Nexus, when it finishes, I would expect the additional Stargate to come in. And he can also add, of course, additional tech then later on, like, easily with all the income that he has. Curious is also now on a lot of gas, and he takes even his fourth base. He knows that there's no aggression from his opponent. No spores here, and the queens are exposed. He's going to trap these... He's going to trap this base. He's going to isolate it by killing these rocks. We've talked about this so many times, how you can do this as a pro player, but nobody has actually done this but yet. There are the queens. Queens, they he move needs in. to Rest trap the it. Transfuse. There's no transfuse just yet, and he can't do that. He's moving in. Here they come, but there's too much air and not enough. These zerglings could be crushed if they're not moved. By the way, there they go. Well, the zerglings are his, his least concern at this point. He is up against three queens with his army. Those and the wings are now trapped here. This base is dead. He needs micro units. He needs micro units, but this base is done. This Even is if he such gets a cool build. There, I mean, what else can he do? He can break through there, but this base is going down. It's not only this base wall, the lost queens so should many die the queens. too. Yeah. He lost so many already, he's gonna lose even more. There's so many Phoenixes here. And SOS just having that third base transition that Curious can do nothing about right now with the Hydralist tech, that's not gonna be able to attack this. For him it's great that he has this base to the right side, but just look at what we have sweeping to the bottom right, even more Phoenixes are now coming in. They just lift everything here. Overlords are being taken out. Curious is doing the only thing that he knows to do at this point. He's trying to take down the rocks and get access to the third base of SOS. But the, the Protoss player is just like, he's annihilating everything here. He's going to kill these rocks too. He's just really abusing the map. I've talked about this so many times before we were talking about this map. We've never seen somebody actually abuse these rocks against their opponent before. But we're seeing SOS use it right now. Good time warp here to save the Mothership Core. And uh, Curious now in the most awkward position he could ever be in. But SOS, he needs to go and check these rocks because they're getting pretty low. In fact, he's not going to get back in time. They're already down to 350 hit points. He's going to need some uh, pickups here. You know, he has the Zealots, not with the plus one attack upgrade, just yet. he's going to charge and the upgrade. But we have this added base now, and Curious, I mean, he is still at 120 supply. And as you said, the rocks are an issue here, and now they are about to break. He needs those Void Rays there, and there they are. But the Lings are going to run in, they might be able to snipe the Nexus here. I don't see it happening though, to be honest with you. Not no, not quite, quite, but he will get some probes. He's going to go in the main instead. Yeah, he's going to go and try to run in, and against the slow Void Rays, this is a good option. But there are just so many units coming out of those Stargates, he should not be able to do too much damage. Yeah, he doesn't really target, of course, there's too many zealots now, and Curious does unlock that path, so he can keep running in like this, but there's not a whole lot done here. Worker Curious. count right now is 62 to 69. Yeah, four bases against three, though. The tech is just really, I mean, this is a really interesting game that we see. Even with that base kill, Curious is not in the worst shape ever here. But what he would really like to have is now, of course, a little bit more anti-air. And he's getting a fair amount of Hydralisks out now. The problem for him being that he cannot really gather up a lot of momentum to really attack his opponent just yet. There are a lot of Phoenixes on the map. There are a lot of Void Rays. There's a transition into the Templar Archive. Storm will once be again be the worst enemy of those lower HP Hydras. And there has to be just something else. I expected him to at least get the infestation pit and add a few infestors, but he's not doing that. And I just don't see a Hydra composition like only Hydras work here. There are just too many Void Rays, there will be charge loss, and there should be Storm. Uh, and Phoenix is fighting uh, against Hydras can also do decently, depending on where the Hydras end up fighting, if they get a few of them get isolated. Even Arkans alone. You don't even have to have the Storm. Even sure. the Arkans alone would already do a lot. Arkans is so much to buy our units in. Every single unit in the Zerg arsenal is bio. This timing is much better than anything we saw from Curious last game, but can he pull this off? The Mothership Core goes down, that's great for him, and Storm is a long ways away. He does have two Archons, Guardian Shield goes up. And now he moves in, this attempted snipe here, but those ropes are not going to do anything against the Void Race, and the Hydra's already running, and good luck running away from Charge Zealots. Yeah, if he ever turns around to fight, the Archons might even close the gap. He has a big amount of surface area here this time, but 
I just SOS even with the uh, the Phoenix is coming from the back and the Queen here can go down. Once he kills these Hydras, he can kill the base of the top right, putting it three base against three base once again. Curious just got kicked in the nuts. Yeah, this game is total dominance. It's like SOS is it's just like he's writing a book on how to do this strategy. And then both of these games he's just dominated. There's never a point where he looks vulnerable, never a point where Curious has any edge on him. It's still a full base economy for the Zerg. I'm really trying to find advantages that he has now, but it's really tough. He's ahead in supply, but just the quality of the supply that we have here is the issue. Six Void Rays, we have four Archons, another one being being uh, um, mobbed in. We have plus three attacks started. He's, try he's trying to uh, the main right now going for the rocks that at the front, but the fourth base therefore is very much exposed and this is exactly what SOS realizes and tries to exploit. Oh, he sees now that his uh, rocks are being destroyed. What's he going to do here? He's trying to make the choice, you can see here. Well, even sentry is what it's going to be enough. He doesn't warp them in though. Yeah. Didn't he I, see? I think he must have. I mean, he looked like he, he saw. I don't think he doesn't have a recall and this is going to be very annoying. He has lots of cannons though. There are two cannons, but if this is an elimination race, I'm pretty sure I know who's going to win it. We have the warbins into the main now, but that's not enough just yet. The main army at the bottom right is trying to find a good position where the Hydralis can shine. Overlords are even moving in, trying to uh, tank a few hits here, I guess, but still, he's doing a really good job. Those Voiders attacking the and Overlords, Oh my though. god, the Archons are doing an insane amount of damage. The amount of splash damage we are seeing here, I think I've never seen it before. Bit of a micro mistake here by Curious as well, moving closer to the Archons, and now the entire army is gone. The Roaches to the top left still doing damage, but another round of warp ins should put an end to that. Or just one Void Ray coming out of the Stargate that he has. In fact, two more Void Rays are going to come out, and those Void Rays alone with the charge up should be able to kill all these Roaches, some of them even low on hit points, yeah. and Curious is looking dead here. Very, very true. The Void Rays alone will shut down those Roaches, and now the main base is completely exposed. The Void Ray is not there just yet. Oh, that's the first one. one. And the Zealots just buying a little bit more yeah. time. It doesn't really matter for SS how much economy he loses here, because he is going to just clean this map. Yep, and he's finally cleaned up the roaches. Curious is just right now sitting in his booth in disbelief. There's nothing he can do here. He's down for the count, and what a crazy game. You know, he was defeated by his own destructible rocks. And, and, and I mean, in some ways, this army composition is just a nightmare to deal with. But what a crazy build from SOS, what a genius build, really, just utilizing the map in, in ways that we've never really seen before so far on this yeah, map. Not only, not only that, just the entire, like, just this composition in total, if you are up against this, you need more than uh, than Hydra Roach. Hydra Roach is never going to win against this. GG. You're so right, Hydra Roach not going to beat it, SOS. Winning some of the most clear-cut games I have ever seen. It wasn't like he hit all-in timings or anything, he just had a plan, he executed, and everything went according to plan. Yeah. Gets the uh, victory here. Looks like he, he choked on his drink a little bit there, but he's got to be feeling good because he's going to the Premier League. Exactly, SOS is back in the Premier League where he belongs, and uh, Curious, he has another shot going through the up and downs to uh, achieve the same, but very well played by SS. I mean, against Zerg, we talked about his statistics, his win ratio, his recent record, he's a bank in this, in this matchup. Yeah, and Curious, even though he does go to the up and downs, he's such a good player, he's been the up and downs so many times, he was called the gatekeeper uh, to Code S for a long time because he was always in that up and down group, always kind of winning and then going back down to the up and downs every season. Well, as it is, the four games of the day are done. A great game here by SOS. A really, really one-sided series. Him just making it happen against Curious. We're going to have a quick look at the match results of the day, of course, to give you an overview of all the games played. As you can see, Parting leading it off with a 2-0 against Flying. True with a very interesting strategy in game number one, making a 2-0 possible against Keen. Reality taking it versus Kango. And then last but not least, the match between Curious and SOS. Yeah, very clean cut in the last uh, best of three. I was expecting a lot closer games than what we saw. SOS just very clearly being the better prepared player. And here are our final Challenger League players. There's only four players left going to the Premier League. Next week on Tuesday, Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Sleep, Yongva versus Trap, and we have Life versus Haiva, and then of course, last but not least, uh, Terran versus Zerg with effort up against Flash. This is my personal favorite Challenger League day that we have had all season. These matches are incredible. So many fan favorite players. A ton of different matchups, so make sure that you are there. It is going to be a week from today, and it, it will be at 1 p.m. Tuesday. It's, I thought it was on Thursday. No. Nope. You sure? I am. I'm in Finland on Thursday. That's I'm very sure. <laughs> you mean Tuesday? Or, oh no. You okay? All right. What? <laughs> it is on Tuesday, in fact. Yeah. 
My mistake. So be there on Tuesday, not on Thursday, because if you're there on Thursday, it'd be too late and exactly. you'll be really sad. So be there at 1 p.m. So, guys, this is it for the day. I hope you enjoyed the games. We're going to see you on Tuesday for the Challenger League again. Have a great day. Bye bye. Relief, relief. Try it, try it.